Hi, in today's lecture, we will see how to measure the performance in regression models in R. We'll do this with the simple concept of observed values and predicted values. So as we all know, observed values are the true values and the predicted values are those values which are predicted or returned by the model which I have built. So uh, we know that the lesser the difference between the observed and the predicted values, the better is the model which has been fitted. And if the difference between the observed and the predicted values is more, that implies that the model fitting has not been so good. There are few measures or metrics which will reflect how good the model fitting has been done. These are the R square values and the RMSE, that is the root mean square error. So we'll take the example of two vectors, uh, observed vector and a predicted vector and see how we can find out the goodness of fit. For that, we need a package known as the caret for which we will load the library. So library of caret is loaded and we'll create two uh, sets of numbers, one containing the observed values and one containing the predicted values. And then we'll find out how uh, the model performance can be measured. So suppose observed is the vector which takes some random numbers say 0.22 and these are some random numbers which I am entering and that can be anything as in when So this is a set of 12 numbers which we've created for the observed values. Similarly, we'll have a predicted set which will be something like say 0.24, let us enter 0.75, let us have minus. So these are some random numbers just for the sake of an example. So here we have 12 numbers in each of these two vectors. So the value of the residual will be equal to the observed values minus the predicted values. So we have the set of all the residuals and say we want to see a summarized version of the residual. So we write summary of residual. So we see the most important metrics for this, the minimum value, maximum value, the mean, median, and the quantiles. I create a vector known as axis, which will contain the extended values, which will be later used for the purpose of plotting values. So I create it as observed and predicted. The use we'll see in just a moment. Now let us plot the observed and the predicted values and see how the fitting is. That is how the model has predicted values and how different are they from the observed values. So I plot observed and the predicted values. My y-axis will be, the y-limb will be axis and the x-limit will also be axis. So from this diagram you see that these are the plots. So these are the set of the observed values. These are the set of the predicted values. And we see that they are distant from each other on the, uh, on the note that if there's a 45 degree line, the values do not lie exactly on that 45 degree line indicating the equivalence of the predicted and the observed values. So for that, we will just plot that line in order to understand this better. And say color is equal to dark gray and the line type is so with this 
we fitted a 45 degree line whenever these circles these observations lie on that 45 degree line it means that the observed values and the predicted values are the same that means those observations have been correctly predicted by the model so whatever the actual the observed values were the model has also predicted them to be the same however whenever there's a deviation between the a point from this 45 degree line it means that the observed values and the predicted values are not the same that means the predicted the values predicted by the model are not the same as the observed value and there exists some error between them so to understand how the residuals are behaving we will plot a graph with the predicted values and the residuals which are generated so i plot predicted values and the residual and i name the graph so this is another graph which shows me how the predicted values and the residuals are behaving and then again to find out how the performance has been we'll draw a line to understand this so we see that the residuals are zero only for two observations so that means the observed values and the predicted values are the same in only two of these uh, of the total number of observations so there were a total of 12 observations out of them there are only two cases when the observed values and the predicted values are the same implying that the residual value is zero other than that if you see these dots you can understand that somewhere the residuals are positive somewhere the residual is negative meaning that at times the predicted value is more than the observed value and at times the predicted value is less than the observed value that means there exists error in this model now i want to find out the the r square value which will tell me how good this fit the fitness has been so i write r square predicted and observed and this gives me a value of 0.49 which is equal to 49% so that means the model fit the goodness of fit measure is 49% that means 49% of the total variation in the model has been explained by the, the those predicted values so it suggests that the model fit is not too good so it could have been more and we can see in our coming videos how to improve the model fitness there is another metric which will help us to understand how goodness of fit or how a uh, model performance is measured with the value this metric is known as the rmsc the root mean square error and how do we find that we find it for the observed and the predicted value and we see that the root mean square error is 56.23% so the r square value should be as high as possible and the root mean square value should be as low as possible the r square will basically indicate that what is the total variation which is being explained by your model so the higher the value of r square the better your model fit is which in our case we found out to be approximately 49% and the root mean square error value is a is a measure of the square root of the average of the errors so you have your errors you square them up so that is why that's called the squared error the error is the difference between the observed and the predicted values you take the difference between them um put a square take the summation and then have a square root of it so that gives me the root mean square values so with this we find that the r square value and the root mean square value so these are two important metrics which will show how um, that that will indicate how goodness of fit is for this model or how a model performance can be measured there are more sophisticated methods to do that this is a preliminary analysis thank you